Hey there, everyone. I'm Michael. And I'm Justin. We're Prego Italia, living our Italian dream. We're American expats formerly from California, now living full-time in beautiful Scalia, Italy. And we invite you to come along with us as we live our Italian dream. Hey everyone, I'm Michael. And I'm Justin. And before we get any further in this video, we're gonna ask that you do as this suggests right down here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Easiest way to help the channel grow and show love to us, so thank you we so much. We appreciate it. Hitting like and subscribe and also sharing our video with friends is a great way to help the YouTube algorithm. Yeah. Let more people see us and we appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Thank you for those comments too. Yes, the comments are completely awesome. We love responding to them, you guys. We love them. Um, we're gonna have a fun video ahead. We had my birthday party, so many friends, so much love. We'll show you that and some other fun stuff around town. But beforehand, we wanna talk about the weather. Believe it or not, I checked the temperature. In Fahrenheit, it's 58 degrees. <laughs> we are so cold. You may find it strange, but we're by the sea. It's pretty We've damp. adapted to the Calabrian life. <laughs> yeah, so it, it, we are lucky to have a lot of rain here in Calabria. Uh, the weather is pretty similar to Southern California, except we get a lot of moisture here, which keeps everything beautiful and green. Unlike Southern California with the deserts and the droughts, we've got a lot of rain here. Thankful for that. Yes. But in our winters for us, I guess we're just really cold. It gets really chilly um, because um, as soon as the sun goes down and today it's cloudy, um, it is very moist, so we have a lot of damp and the winds from the sea. Right. So that's probably the reason. We do feel funny because we watch like sometimes the American news, mm -hmm. and we're seeing up in the near Canadian border in the U.S. like minus 60 Fahrenheit, and yeah. we're like, whoa, in the Northeast and all these huge storms, and we feel funny complaining when here we are. Um, mm -hmm. Some people in those areas would probably be running on the beach swimming. Absolutely, <laughs> but you guys also have to remember, and I know we've said this in a video in the past, um, the Italian homes are built differently yes. than a lot of homes in America. They don't have insulation, and so when it gets cold, it gets cold very quickly, yeah, and you, it is very hard to heat a house up if you've allowed it to get cold. And in our Scalia area, a lot of the homes, of course, are built for summer living, <laughs> and a lot of people don't have heaters and stuff, so you have to get those installed if you purchase. But uh, we do have heaters, of course, but we're looking into also getting double pane glass yes. windows and stuff indoors. Which so. will be nice. Uh, yes, definitely. <laughs> So you may wonder sometimes we're complaining about the cold, and I did check. We are just wusses. I think, yeah, <laughs> I think in Milan, of course, it's like in the very low uh, 30s Fahrenheit. And when we were there, it was, um, we, I guess we had in the high 20s Fahrenheit when we were there. It was and very funny because I personally feel, I know the temperature says it's warmer here, mm -hmm. but I feel colder here because we're by the sea than I did in Milan because you had the, the sun and, and there was a lot, there wasn't as much breeze, it wasn't as humid, so... It was sort of a drier cold, yeah. which I can deal with a so little bit better. We hear the waves, we're right on the sea, so we get it, my hair's probably getting a little funny flying, <laughs> but so we do get that cold breeze off the sea in, in the winter. So um, we just wanted to kind of, we have people write us and how cold are you there and such? So, I mean, anybody, cold. You, can Google, <laughs> you can Google any area in the world and find out the temperature, and, you know, and of course we get Fahrenheit because that's what we follow. Everybody follows uh, Celsius here, but you can set your phone accordingly. But we just wanted to clarify that because a lot of people have been asking and, and such. So it is uh, obviously um, cooler, I think like 20 degrees Fahrenheit up in um, Milan area in the north. So but it's a drier cold. Once well, again. different, Michael. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I mean, they got the Alp snow coming down. Yeah, it, it wasn't as bad as it is here. Well, because you have the big city. <laughs> All big cities have a city warmth to them, you know, which is a, just an anomaly that happens. So. But we're, here it is cold, cold. Yeah, so when you hear us complain and we feel kind of guilty. It's just all, because we like complaining. No, but we're all dressed in parkas practically. And there's people literally minus 60 degrees yeah. Fahrenheit. How I know you, um, Justin whoa. Justin was watching the World News America and they're talking I about how cold it was. And he's, oh my God, it's so cold. How do you cold. survive? <laughs> it was, people had frozen mustaches on some sport thing they were showing. But yeah, we like to catch on YouTube. ABC That's nature's Night way of saying you need to shave. Yeah, we can catch <laughs> NBC Nightly News, with, uh, and we also like to catch the ABC Nightly News, sometimes just for the highlights uh, to see what's up. And some of it's very strange, especially the weather. How Well, America's gigantic, actually. <laughs> and as we know, Italy here is the size, technically, of Arizona, the state. And, uh, you know, it's smaller than California if you laid it out. But um, anyway, so it's very diverse and um, very just, cold. It, <laughs> Amazes us. Actually, it's funny because you could literally have summer all year round 
I think uh, obviously this is uh, now Justin's fascination no, right here. Australia, by the way. <laughs> Australia is in their summer right now, while the Western Hemisphere is in their winter. So you could technically live on the summer all year round. You can go in the winter and the um, and go have your summer in Australia. All you have to do is win the lottery. Yeah, yeah if you're wealthy <laughs> enough, and then you could live the other part of the year in the summer of the other part of the world. So you could technically avoid winter if you planned it, and if you had the finances to do so, that would be quite nice. So unfortunately, we can't go <laughs> jumping around the globe with just chasing summer. But some people could do it. If you know anybody that does, let us know. So we do know a lot of Australians that own in the, in the area, so I'll have to ask them because they could strategically plan it. And that would be kind of cool for people. Well, it'd be cool like for winter. him. I would be miserable because I don't like summer. <laughs> I so. don't like winter. I get, I have such thin skin. My fingers turn blue. I just hate it if it's cold. It's awful. Awful, awful, awful. So we We're thought we, spring boys. <laughs> well, we thought we'd clear that up because we did have a lot of people in the comments and we forgot to give the temperature in Milan when we were there. People are, how cold was it? And such. But we look forward to next time's July and we're going to make a way to Como. Yeah. Like, uh, Como. Like Como if all goes well too. That'll be fun. That'll be side very trip. nice. But anyway, enjoy the fun around town and I enjoyed my birthday so much love and uh, Chris and Pete couldn't be there because poor Chris gives some love to uh, Chris Sobel of our friend she had um, hurt her ankle and had a surgery and everything so we send you love Chris and I know you're recovering Hi. and you little trooper out there get better and so we can have lots of fun in yeah. Calabria so you now we're waiting for you yes yeah, <laughs> so kisses to you and also our friend Nancy was also um, had a medical issue too love her yeah. sending you love Nancy to get better as well so anyway to um, everybody who has medical issues yes <laughs> we love everybody and please enjoy the episode ahead Everybody. We are first time having breakfast in Santa Dominica Talao at the Fig Calabria and Karina is so cute because they have American coffee of course and yeah, American and I love coffee mugs. mugs and she's like oh I'll try that too so and you see look baby joy there so, you go I love cool. those mugs yeah. the, we the noticed most, of, most Italians and Europeans when they have the American coffee they're like what is this <laughs> not very strong but but we're yeah, used. This is what Michael, we have at home a drip coffee here, so yes. we enjoy this. And then we will show everybody the <laughs> food when it arrives. Yes, yes. Awesome. So for, first chance to get up here in the morning for a nice breakfast. So fabulous. We've been looking forward to doing that. And yay, Karina, it's always lovely to be with you. Especially in the freezing days. So it nice is so cold. This coffee. Well, good. You enjoy and we'll show everybody the food when it gets here. Hello, hello, hello again. Mm -hmm. The chef delivering the goods. Oh my goodness, how beautiful. Homemade bagel sandwich with cheese, bacon, and eggs, and potatoes. How delicious. Karina got that as well. Oh, yummy, you guys. Beautiful so yummy. And Michael, oh, wow. Yeah, let's see. He's done our sponsor. Like and that beautiful. looks incredible. Thank and that's you. a Pandora? Oh, Pandora. thank you. Pandora French yeah. toast. That looks oh, so my God. cute. <laughs> Oh my gosh, wow. that's adorable. How <laughs> delicious, guys. And congratulations on your continued success yes, congratulations. for many years to come. Awesome. <laughs> delicious. No, I'm just gonna enjoy. The thing is, they, you're being everything done looks so delicious. It does. And bagels. You so should yummy. try these. And it's not even stupid. Oh They're looking God. at you like delicious. Enjoy. So you enjoy. Can so enjoyed our beautiful breakfast. I guess we could call it brunch. <laughs> and it's uh, still very cold. I know it's sunny yes. and beautiful. Very Don't let it fool you, but I'll go ahead and, since we're not up here too often, well, I guess we do come to the fig a lot. I will just go ahead and refresh everybody's memory with this beautiful little viewing area here. Just do a quick scan. It's a clear day today. Cold, but clear. But I'll just do a nice view from up here, um, around the bluff there is Calais. You can't, of course, see it because the mountain, but over in this direction, you see Santa Maria del Cedro down that way. And then, of course, going onward towards Diamante. Lovely day, very chilly, a lot colder up here in Santa Domenica Talao than Scalea. Very noticeable difference. 
we're in a high elevation mountain town, so quite chilly in the winter. Beautiful day regardless. Uh, we are here for my birthday today. Da -dum, da -dum. You could say hi. It's all about me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, pumpkin. And we're here at La Piedra Grotta. Did I say it right? La Piedra Grotta. La Piedra yes. Grotta. And Lucia. Yeah. Hello. And Marco. And Dragos. And Yellow, the gorgeous little waitress. And John and Michelle. Hello. 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 I'll make my way to the table. There you go. And oh, everybody enjoy. Oh, that's good. Okay. <laughs> and the food has arrived. Michael and Michael always loves this one. It's the one with the zucchini cream, right? Cream sauce. Yummy, but the um, pancetta. And as we're just commenting, Lucia and Michael always same have the same thing. taste. <laughs> and all they always usually get the same thing, yeah. which explains something. That's why they yeah. both same taste, which is a good thing. Oh, speaking of, you guys got the same too. The porcini with the tagliatelle. Tagliatelle. Say it again. Tagliatelle. And I'm going to say that a bunch of times because I always say it on, with the porcini. See, this is, and you could spank me when I don't do good Italian, right? No, but you're always the good. Oh, yeah, you're too kind. <laughs> too kind. Oh, Thank you, oh, you're so you. sweet. And John has fried, um, uh, fried uh, freedom stuff. Yeah. Calamari and, uh, and gamberi. Delicious. And Michelle has the same. Good mm -hmm. looking. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> and you got the um, pepperoni kushki on the side and your grilled vegetables and yes. John and Michael got fried vegetables. Mm -hmm. Karina, oh, you guys we got a lot of things we going have, on. Yes, we have Hello. the same. Fitramista you got it too. Lovely. And I got a big old giant steak, which I love the ribeye here. It's huge, 500 grams. And Arlene got the grilled uh, mixed grill, yummy, yummy. Yeah. And you got a big old Fred Flintstone steak too there. I sure did. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> appetizers and our little petite lady with her yummy steak <laughs> go myra no. i don't think i've been called petite in a long time but thank you I'll You're okay. welcome. I'll accept. there you go enjoy everybody and yours is waiting over there for you sweetie uh, so everybody enjoy and i want to say too michael and i are so blessed i was just saying earlier i'll say it on camera that when we moved here, we never imagined we'd meet so many people that we absolutely this love. We feel so, this is like an oasis of kind, loving people here. So oh, sweet. We love you too. <laughs> Thank we you. Love you. Love you guys are all so sweet. <laughs> Everybody enjoy. <laughs> and Myra, we were just, she reads minds. Is it going? <laughs> it is. Okay, we were just talking about steak cooking and pans and we yes. just had a lunch. Thank you, Myra. Well, thank you. <laughs> you read minds, you read minds. That was good on her. <laughs> she does. I didn't know she did. One thing's from Michael, one thing's for me. Oh, okay. It's a foreshadowing. One for us is a foreshadowing. Oh, cute. That's from Michael. Wow. Oh, fun. It's excellent. It's very short. But it's oh, yeah. white. It's, you can read it like it's like butter. Thank you. Perfect for my uh, attention span. <laughs> <laughs> but it's excellent. Thank you. Is it a film? It was a movie. Okay, cool. Awesome. Double indemnity. Thank you. With large enough print for me. <laughs> Are most books on it? I, the only books that I took from the mainland here, from America to here, were the books that were my very favorite. Awesome. And that's one of my bookshelves. Okay, that's the leftover this lemon curd from, 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 from the cake. So, oh! So you, you need to eat it in three days or 
Ooh, yummy. And we get to see the cake that she made coming soon. Yay. That's the filling. Yummy. Not a sweet of my favorite. So thank you. So cute. Here we go. You want candy camera. <laughs> <laughs> Da -da -da -da. Michael, it's a little bar. Thinking about that one. <laughs> Happy birthday to oh, you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Justin. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Woo! Double the five twice, even though I act like I'm five. Yeah, okay. Do you see your sunglasses? I do. I didn't wear them today because it's raining. But oh, that's so cute. And then show me the glasses. She got the glasses. Louis Vuittons. Thank you. Oh, now I have to do a wish. Well, I'll do the polite thing where I like this. I'm gonna blow on everybody's cake. Oh, you don't eat, but... <laughs> <laughs> Make a wish. Yay! I'll go Notice I don't blow on your frosting. Nothing worse than your frosting blow. Nothing worse than your What did you just say, John? Nothing. Say it again. I love it. Thank you. It's so pretty. So cute. Oh, pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Michael, I have to insert that. Glittery, thank you. I love glittery. Thank you. Very pretty. Michael, install that for me later. Thank you. So cute. Well, babes. Thank you. Pink! <laughs> Yay! Boy, Very nice. Sack. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 And this is from Lucia. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And Marco. And Marco. <laughs> Which I know what it is. <laughs> He's got really nice. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yummy. It smells nice. Oh, wow. That's cool. Bella. Oh, very beautiful. Michael, wow. snap that right on. Of I'll, I'll do it after. <laughs> oh, do you like uh, it? Mm -hmm. I thought Gorgeous. hopefully you do. Gorgeous. Hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Actually, I'm not. Hold on. Just let me. <laughs> Birthday, Justin, Karina, and Dragos. Karina and Dragos. Yes, I can see that. Since I'm working And then she wrote in English. Thank you, honey. This, this end? Thank you. Okay, so it goes from the top. Oh my god. <laughs> Marco, can you ask her in Filarno? Very beautiful. How do you Faccio io, eh? Eh, vieni. Che non riesco a Fatto? No. Eccolo, eccolo. Okay. Okay. Grazie, molto bello. Grazie. Can't you like No, I like that. He likes uh, smiles, by smiles, not tears. Count your life by smiles, not tears, and count your age by friends, not years. Ah. Oh, Thank you. Oh, this is okay. <laughs> That's a <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Not from Karina. <laughs> the one that started the <laughs> session. <laughs> No, but he's nice. Let's say be honest. The, the owner is nice. And he was saying uh, I love you guys. Oh. So. <laughs> I thought maybe you were just going to use the bag. <laughs> 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 that would be better. So give it back to him. <laughs> <laughs> Michael could get these things off in two seconds. I take a little longer. <laughs> oh, 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 beautiful. It's a oh, little rainbow pride one. How cute. The beautiful. Us. It's a little and rainbow one. Aww. Aww. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's a, a charm. Yes, yes. for the, the bracelet. The Aww. They're saying when you are done, you can find the energy. Uh, Gracias. Yeah. I have my chick parm sandwich, which yes, Catano yes. at Valaria Siciliani kindly yes. makes us. Get my Parmesan on, I'm mm -hmm. American Italian, <laughs> with our delicious chick parm, which is very rare to find in Italy. Michael has the same, and he's got French fries. Jeez, surprise, surprise. I have my fried veggies for my side, yummy. And I do want to share that they also, you can be served around the clock whenever you're hungry here. They open at 9 every day except Thursday. Off-season they do close on Thursdays. And you can have your American-style breakfast if you're craving eggs and bacon, scrambled, fried. Get your eggs any style. And for lunch, of course, full menu. All the way through dinner, full menu. And you can, like I said, you can have your dinner at 4 if you want. We're in at 4.45 because we got caught in a rainstorm after an appointment. So we're like, well, let's make an early dinner of it to avoid the big storm without having to go out again later. So yummy, yummy. So it's really cool to know. Around the clock, Valeria Siciliani will serve all the tourists so you're not stranded in big gaps of hungriness and nothing open. Love it. Well, I hope that was fun. Michael's going to go make us some coffee or something yes. so we can keep warm. And coffee we, is always needed. We hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for your time. We look forward to seeing you next time. And we're going to say the same thing we always do, you guys. Bocce, bocce. Bocce, bocce. We love you and all. dare to drink. Stay warm wherever you are. Thank you for your time. Ciao. Hey there, everyone. Please be sure to check out our merchandise, now available and in a lot of new styles please go to www.prego-italia.com and click the merchandise link. Hey everyone, so we have exciting news. We are now on Patreon and you can find the link to that right here below. There will be the info for you to find us, Patreon. We actually, in advance, want to thank you very much for your patronage. Thank um, you. Your support will enable us to grow this channel to where we hope it gets to be and also enable us to travel throughout Italy and share many more experiences with you. So thank you in advance. Bachi bachi. Bachi.